Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to Find Me Toys. Now forgive me, I'm a little under the weather, so if my voice is a little crackling and all that stuff, just forewarning on this video. Um, yeah, I'm a little sick, so that's what's going on. Uh, we are doing, we're gonna do an unboxing. This is, I got this from my Nina, so shout outs to my Nina. Uh, sh this was on clearance for $20, plus tax of course. The Batman, and look at Catwoman, Riddler. I already have the Riddler one, uh, Catwoman, and the Penguin, and I think I, I have the Batmobile one. That's the only kind of Funko Pop I wanted, really, out of this lineup. But we're gonna unbox this. I'm actually gonna display all these because the box is pretty beat up. It's a, I mean, there's a reason why it's on clearance, you know. <laughs> I'm not gonna resell this. Uh, the box is very ripped, you know. It's not a very good condition box. And honestly, I'm a big The Batman fan. The one Funko Pops I never sell is my Spider-Man ones and some of my Batman ones. So I think I'm just going to display this, make a nice little display. Uh, and we're going to open them up and take a look at all these pops. So let's get started. just there we go i think that was it i think that was like one tape so this is a cool four pack there's a 10 inch batman as well this is the back of it now uh there's no secret i love the batman i think this was one of my favorite movies of the year uh, but top gun maverick actually beat it out so when top gun maverick gets on gets starts uh, freaking putting out pops i'll probably get the top gun maverick pop, but there it is. This is a great deal for four Funko Pops. And, you know, box damage, resellers, they got to have the box in prime condition. But if you're just buying Funko Pops to display, as long as the pops are great, great. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this. So this comes out with it. So a nice little background if you want to do a display. And I have, the, I have you know, his Batmobile, uh, Batman and the Batmobile. So I might actually use this. I'm actually thinking of creative ways to display a lot of my stuff. So here we go. So let's start with the Riddler. I already have the Riddler. I might actually just do a giveaway with the Riddler since I have one already. Uh, I think it's actually the same exact mold with his tape, glasses. The Riddler wasn't my favorite, man. I mean, I like uh, Paul Down Dono, Downey or whatever his name is. Uh, he does a fa he's a fantastic actor. If you haven't seen him, of course he's known for There Will Be Blood, uh, Prisoners. He was really good too. Um, he's a fantastic actor, but I just thought like if you're gonna push that kind of, you know, seven Zodiac killer, sin uh, Kevin Spacey killer type guy, you really had to make that feel rated right R to make me feel really, really, really. Uh, threatened by the serial killer, or really kind of like buy into it, which I did, they did a good job. I just really felt like, you know, the Riddler could have been better. Uh, I hope they don't continue with this suit. I think Paul's face is perfect for like, just, just this is like the one instance I'm like, don't use the helmet, don't use the mask. Paul's face is perfect for the role, just give him a nice suit, so. But you know, I, I do appreciate him, uh, appreciate the kind of look that they they gave him for the first go so i'm excited to see what happens to him in the future but this is the riddler so let's put the riddler on the side for now the batman robert p did a fantastic job as the batman now this so i don't have him and this is oh i loved his suit look at this look at the detail on the suit i love the little bit of orange right here this is a freaking nice Funko Pop Batman figurine. I mean, of course, I want the Christian Bale Dark Knight one, but I, a couple of my Batman ones, they don't uh, like, I really like this suit and I really like the, uh, this reminds me of like the Batman Returns, like the Catwoman cowl a little bit with the stitching and stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he, this is a nice suit. This is a nice looking suit right here. I actually really love this thing. Look at that. Very cool. Cool pose. I like the pose. Doesn't seem top heavy at all. I'll try. Yeah, stays really good. It's a good base. It's a very good base. The cape, nice. Very cool pop. All right, that's the Batman. I love, whew, I'm going to display all of them right now. Uh, let's go with Selena, man. Catwoman. 
Uh, Selena's like, ooh, she looks nice though. Ooh, she's looking sexy right there. Funko Pop. Uh, this is probably the sexiest Funko Pop I've seen. Uh, her outfit's really cool. I don't necessarily like the mask. I get it for the first go though. Uh, I really, I, I want to see her with kind of like the uh, goggle uh, aviator type look. Hopefully, uh, you know, that she's based on the comics. Um, I like Anne Hathaway's Catwoman, what Christopher Nolan did there with the, uh, you know, the goggles that went down and then kind of came up and looked like cat ears. Uh, she just likes cats. <laughs> Catwoman in this movie just really likes cats. Uh, I thought uh, Zoe did a great job. You know, I look forward, I thought, you know, her and uh, Robert had some good chemistry. Uh, it's like kind of, I, I, they did more with her and Robert than they did with Christian and Anne. So, uh, of course, Michelle Pfeiffer's still my favorite, but this suit is nice. You have the heels on the Funko Pop, which we'll see, we'll stand her up and see how she looks. The detail, it's so funny. It, this one though really looks like, you can't really see too well because of my black jersey. But this really feels like, like a figurine, like a small little figurine, right? And they just flopped a big headed, like from another toy, a Funko, of course, and just put it on like a figurine. Like, look how small this is. Look at, look at the, look at the body, right? The body really looks like it should be from another toy. Uh, and I know, like, it's, it just doesn't, like, compare this with this and of course his head matches his body but selena's is just really really tiny really small really thin very uh interesting so let's see oh yeah she's not uh i'm not really digging the base like i said her body's too small for the head so i mean of course you know selena's slick slender but this is uh this is <laughs> that's interesting Forgive me, my light turned off because my battery's dead, but I'll just keep rolling. All right, man. Bubble Pot, a.k.a. Uh, the Penguin. Oh, yeah. Nice suit. No prosthetics on here, huh? <laughs> uh, Colin did, I think he was the best. I, I, I think I enjoyed him the most out of the villains, honestly. He's funny ruthless, energetic, really brought something to the table instead of, you know, just doing all this makeup. As you notice, a lot of these, um, a lot of these, the only one that's really colorful is the Riddler. A lot of them have a lot of black coloring on them. So I would get a brighter kind of background to it. I mean, the red and black, it's cool. It would make, make it look really nice if you have like the lighting for it for it if you're going to display them but uh, get a little bit of something a little bit more lighter honestly like a little blues and blacks would be nice get something from the dark night like background and put it on these guys but i mean it's a nice suit the the umbrella is a little bit wonky a little bit you could adjust it though it's fine he's got this ring right here so yeah, here's the penguin. Here's Batman. Selena Kyle. Very weird with the body proportion. And then you also have. Ooh, see? Out of all of them, Selena Kyle's base and top heaviness. Like that's the that's uh <laughs> that's gonna fall over probably a lot. Uh, so I would get maybe I wonder if they I don't think Funkos make bases, like just I, mean, I think they do probably. Uh, see all blacks, and then you have this one, the Outcast, <laughs> green. That uh, that I call it garage green. <laughs> uh, but a very nice set for twenty dollars. This is a very very nice set. My favorite out of these guys, of course, is the Batman. I love the suit. I love the look of this Funko Pop. The base, the action pose. That is one of my favorites. I, I now I kind of want to get the Christian Bale, the Dark Knight one. Uh, get pretty much, you know, Michael Keynes. Now I want to get all the movie Batman to kind of line them up. Uh, Selena Kyle, it's an interesting base and body to her. Uh, it makes sense, though, because of Selena Kyle and how, you know, she's the Catwoman. Uh, Cobblepot, or AKA the Penguin. Uh, generic, the Riddler. I have it already. Like I said, I wasn't 
too fond of this character. Like, I liked him, but I didn't love him. I wanted to love him. But it's a nice set. It's a very, very nice set. So this is the Batman 4-pack for $20. You can't beat that. If you the, if you find this at Walmart and it's going for $20, bucks, pick it up. I mean, especially if you don't have the Batman Funko, any of the Funko Pops. I wasn't going to get any of the... Um, the Funko Pops from the Batman line, except for the Batmobile. I was thinking about Selena Kyle with her bike, uh, but my Nina went to Walmart and she saw this. She's like, do you want it? I'm like, you know what? I do. I want it for 20 bucks for four pops. Totally, I totally would get it. I was thinking about reselling it, but the box is really damaged. But I think this is a cool display, especially if I could sprinkle it around. And of course, my son would probably really like, uh, he probably would like the Batman. I'd probably give him a Batman. The Batman one for for uh, since I already have the Batmobile, but thank you Nina for picking this up at Walmart and seeing and uh, she's always on the look for uh, figurines. Just like why I always say, go find some toys. I'm Dan Man King Down Sun. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you can. Uh, it helps the channel grow. And also comment below. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. And I'm Dan Man, and I'll see you guys next time.